four white men lie. Check this out. Let me play with you. Listen to this. Bring it out! Show you your name is now. Your name is your brother, the 12 tribes of Israel. <laughs> Listen to this. The book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 50. Read. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father. So you, what is the will of God? Yeah, keep his laws and commandments according to Psalms 48. It said, he that do the will of my Father. Read. Which is in heaven. Read. The same is my brother and my sister and mother. So you see, if you breaking God's command, so right now you doing the will. These my brothers up here. This is my family because they doing the will of the Father. You know what I'm saying? Now if these brothers want to go back into the world and commit sin and be iniquity. I ain't dealing with. Them. I deal with these brothers up here. We deal with our. We we got our own family, man. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? Brothers right. who keeping God's command. You can't come together with no sons. It is what it is. Right. That's why I go to uh, Romans 12 real quick. Romans 12 verse 1. Bring it out! So you got okay, they a faggot? No, I can't, I ain't loving no faggot. I ain't no, I ain't no faggot. Right. How the hell I'ma love them as myself and I'm straight and I love them. <laughs> I don't can't you. love you as myself, bro. <laughs> but look, if you keep the God's commandments, no. you just like I love myself. Okay. And I'ma show you how we do that. Give me Romans 13 first. Yeah. Verse 9. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to love your neighbor as yourself, bro. Read. Romans chapter 13 and verse 9. Read. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. Let me start at 8. Romans 13 verse 8. Read. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. So it's going to how to love your neighbor as yourself. First he said, owe no man anything. Mm -hmm. That's a law, bro. If I loan you some, if you loan me some, I'm supposed to pay you back. You know what I'm saying? This is how you're going to love your neighbor as yourself. Read. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Read. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. So look, it is briefly comprehended myself, in this saying. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You got, that's how you love your neighbor as yourself. By keeping God's command. That's why a lot of people say love, love, love. They don't know what love is. Love is the keeping of the commandments, bruh. So, if you ain't doing the will of the Father, my hey, I mean, I, I can, how can I love you as myself? You can't love me. If I don't eat pork, you know what I'm saying? How am I gonna love you as I love myself? I love myself. But I can come out here and show you, show, prove to our people that I, I love, love you by what? Coming out here showing you God's commandments. Pull, give me Leviticus 5 and 1. That's it. Because believe it or not, we do love our people. All right. We do love we our don't people. Know how. We, hey, we do love our people, but we try to get our people to repent. If you don't want, if you don't want to repent, whatever come your way, you deserve. And I'm gonna give all glory and all thanks and all honor yeah, for, to gonna, the heavenly Father for what you happened. You because all heaven. our people got a chance to repent. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter five and verse one. Read. And if they soul sin and hear the voice of swearing, so the tell me though. If a soul sin and hear the voice of swearing, we see our people in this sin out here. That's why a lot of these people think we pick on them when we call out they sin. Just like the brother was saying, look, you can't bow your head. You got to wear a bird. Mm -hmm. Where your friends is at. You got to come together in the Holy Spirit. We ain't picking on you. Right. We see you in the midst of iniquity. He's saying, for soul sin and hear the voice of swearing. Read. And is a witness whether he has seen or known of it. Read. If he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. You know that? If we don't utter it, we bring that iniquity. So if I see you in sin, I know you Israelite. I know you a child of God. If I see you in sin and I don't come out here uttering, guess what? I burn your iniquity. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know why? Give me Leviticus 19, verse 17. I'm going to show you why. Listen to what God, I want you to tell me what God called this when you see your brother, your sister in the midst of sin and you don't say nothing. Bring it out. See the damn pastors hate our people. They ain't trying to get some damn money. That's it, man. Try to get some money. They ain't trying to correct our people. They ain't trying to fix our community. They ain't trying to change the minds of our people. That's how we're going to come together as a nation, man, when we change our minds. Our minds are set up. Our mind frame, our mind frame set up on rap music, smoking weed, having sex, sports, game banging, sports. That's a messed up mindset for the black man. 
When is our mindset gonna be set on rulership? That's right. Being a father to your kids, being a husband to uh to your yeah, wife. Go you know what I'm saying? Instead of committing fornication yeah, and committing the loving one another as we love ourselves. We hate each other. We kill each other, we gang bang, right. we destroy our communities. We, we like what the hell with our kids. We treat our women, we, we the only nation of people that call our women thoughts and ratchets. Yeah. Leviticus 19 and verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So God said, don't hate your brother in thy heart, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Meaning correct him, read. And not suffer sin upon him. So if you see your hey. brother in sin and you don't rebuke him, you don't correct him, what do God call that? Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What God call that? Hey. He called it hate. That's so, <laughs> we are here, we see our people sin. We know our people lost, we know they don't know who they are. And for over 300 years, he restricted you from reading and writing. He took your nationality from you. He, uh, he destroyed the uh, black family structure. Believe it or not, in the 60s, we had a strong black family structure. Yeah. The black, black men, the black men stick together then. Why you think we had all them black power movements? They destroyed that. They, they destroyed the black family structure with drugs. That's why soon we pull up out here. We bringing the word out. A dude sell drugs right in front of us like we condone. You know what I'm saying? So you want to keep destroying that black family structure. You help the white man do it now. Why? Because he put a little bucks in your pocket. You can ride around in a nice guy. You can pay your bills. But what about your brother bills? You know what I'm saying? What about that child's father who you just sold that crack to? What about that child's mother who you just sold the crack to? Bring it out. Read up. Give me all that in First John. Uh, about being a murderer. First John chapter three and verse fifteen. Read out. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. So we don't sit up there and tell our people that. Look, how the hell we got the greatest wisdom on the planet Earth? Bro, we, this is the biggest movement going on. It can't be stopped, man. We just left teaching the word in Africa, on the streets, just like Damn. right here. This ain't nothing. Look, bro, we everywhere. We on, we in the islands, teaching the word in the islands. Right, right here, everywhere, man. Right. Come on, man. man. This is the up, biggest man. movement on the planet Earth. We gonna come out here, we gonna teach our people. A lot of people, two thirds of our people gonna be left behind, though, because they do not want to receive. That's why you see out of all the missing this people, I don't miss the people out here. You only got a few people out here listening. That's why a lot of people gonna die. They, they say they believe in this Bible. They didn't believe the prophets walked the earth. They come down. They don't believe in uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what they believe in, hold this up real quick. Yeah, yeah hold it. This is what our people believe in. They believe in this image right here, man. They believe in this image. We know they believe in this image. This image all over the world. <laughs> and portrays itself as God. When Jesus Christ was a black man, when Jesus Christ looked like you, looked like us, read what you got. And you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. He said you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. If we see our brothers in sin, we commanded to come out here and correct them. So it ain't picking on nobody. It's love. You know what I'm saying? It's love. That's if right. If you don't want to repent, then guess what's going to happen? Give me Luke 13 and 3. Bring it out. Luke 13 and 3. We know who we are. You know what I'm We have been in the same traditions, the same state that our people have been in. Okay, We've been uh, done that, man. Okay, For real, though. It's time to wake up now. Luke 13 and 3. Read. Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So if our people don't want to repent of fornication, they're going to purge. If our women don't want to repent of, uh, uh, repent of wearing pants, they're going to purge. And the reason why, because uh, wearing pants is abomination. Mm -hmm. God said, I hate that. When God see our women in pants, he disgusted by that. Right. Christ disgusted by that. that people don't understand. Our Lord is looking at that. Give me self and I. Mm -hmm. Give me self and I real quick. Chapter, and it's one and nine. One and eight. One and eight. Bring it out. Give me self and I. I'm going to show you some as little as wearing pants to get you killed by God. Right. Now look, this is Zephaniah 1 and 8. This is the day of the Lord right here. Read with Zephaniah that. chapter 1 and verse 8. That's why they try to do away with the Old Testament. They're doing away with prophecies. How you gonna try to do away with prophecies that God said that's gonna happen? And it's gonna happen anyway. Read, it's still gonna happen. You can't say that's because you don't read it. Right. That don't mean it's gonna happen. Right. God said, look, my spirit, he said, look, my word, my counsel is gonna stand. You can try to take, don't, don't do the, you can try to get somebody half a book and think God counsel ain't gonna stand, you out of your mind. Read what you got. 
Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Read. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The Lord's sacrifice is when Christ come back to judge the earth. Mm -hmm. That's why I say the day of the Lord. It says sacrifice. When you sacrifice something, what you doing? You killing it. Mm -hmm. The day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day when the Lord come back to judge this earth. Read. That I, that I will punish. He said, I'm going to punish. When Christ come back, man, it ain't gonna be no kisses, hugs, teddy bears, cakes, and balloons. It ain't, nice like ain't gonna be no party. They killed this man. This man walked the earth. They killed him for no reason, mm -hmm. bro. If they kill you for no so no reason, the Most High give you the power to come back. What you finna do? <laughs> he come back for sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Read what you got. Now I will punish the princes and the king's children. He said, look, I'm gonna punish the princes and the king's children. Read. And all such as are clothed. He said, and all such that are clothed. And what? With strange apparel. So God care about how you dress. Right. You want to wear strange apparel? Mm -hmm. You want to be abomination to God? Mm -hmm. Some smile is wearing pants. God will kill you for it. Mm -hmm. Give me all Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. People talk about, man, God will kill you for what you eat. God said, look, this the food that you should eat. And this the food that, that, that shouldn't be eaten. Damn right. So he'll kill you for it. So God, I'm going to tell you what people don't understand. God ain't going to kill you just because what you eat. Mm -hmm. He killing you for being disobedient. Right. I told you to do this. You didn't do it. Since you didn't do it, okay, watch this. I'm going to show your ass what's going to happen when you don't do what I tell you to do. That's right. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Listen to this. And the swine, though he divided the hook, and be cloven footed. So it said, though the swine, though he clove, uh, divide the book and be cloven footed, read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Meaning he don't, uh, he don't got a, he don't got multiple stomachs to digest his food. A cow got multiple stomachs to digest his food. A pig don't, he don't chew it the cud, read. He is unclean to you. So God said he unclean to you, read. These shall ye eat. So now, now look. So give me Isaiah 66 real quick. So now. Would God kill you for eating the wrong type of food? Let me show you right here. This is going right back to the day of the Lord again. See, this is what these folks ain't going to show you in church because they don't know it. Right. Their eyes is closed to it. We read the whole Bible, Old and New Testament. Right. Listen to this. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 17. Start at 15. Verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. So this is how Christ coming back. Christ coming back with fire. They ain't telling our people that. You think he coming back with rain? <laughs> he coming with fire, read. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. He coming with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. They call him UFO, read. Yeah, to call. render his anger with fury. So he gonna be mad. To render his anger, to render something he gonna pay back. He gonna pay back his anger with fury, read. And his rebuke with flames of fire. Read. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. It says so by fire and by sword he gonna plead with all flesh. Read on. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Then, hey, when Christ come back, it says the slain of the Lord gonna be many. Two thirds of our people gotta go. Right. right. Two thirds of the Israelites gonna go. Read on. They that sect sect. Sanctify themselves. So sanctify themselves meaning, oh, you can eat this. Uh, 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 a way to sanctify yourself meaning to try to make something clean. Yeah. To make something clean. Remember, God said pork unclean. What they tell you now? No, you can eat that. Well, this is the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Christ said you eat it. You can eat it. It's clean now. Yeah, the mouse. The mouse. The mouse clean, uh, unclean. Rabbit unclean. Oscars unclean. Lobsters unclean. But they tell you, no, oh, this is a delicacy. It's good now. Just boil it like this. Just it like that. Make sure it's done. They sanctify themselves, we. And purify themselves in the garden. In the garden. That's talking about churches. Because back then we used to call church in the garden. Church was outside like how we is now. Read. Right now. Behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. They said eating the swine's flesh. Read. And the abomination and the mouse. Eating the swine's flesh. The abomination and the mouse, read, shall be consumed together, read, said the Lord. They're going to be consumed together when what? He come back with that fire and that sword to run this recompense. So God care about how you eat, you can get judged for that. God care about how you dress, you can get judged for that. God care about how you treat your women, you can be judged for that. You can be judged for not taking care of your kids and not ordering your household. Right. Right. The most time for not keeping his commandments. Time for our people to wake up and repent, man. That's what we go out. That's what we come out here to do. To wake our people up, man. 
But a lot of our people, man, they're gonna get destroyed. And the reason why, they don't wanna wake up, they don't wanna repent. They wanna mock us when we come out yeah. here. No, when the no, scriptures no, no. say, when the scriptures say God is not mocked, you wanna no, act no, hard no. and act cool. A lot of our people gonna die because they think they think they think hanging on the corner being dug out is cool. That ain't that ain't cool, man. You standing on a damn corner. Mm -hmm. Some of these people gonna stand on that stand on yeah, this no corner protect. for 20 years. And that ain't gonna buy to a damn thing, man. Some, some of these people gonna get killed right here on this same corner. Ain't no bad to nothing, man. It's time for our people to wake up. Hey, give me Hosea, uh, I mean, give me Jeremiah 422 real quick. Bring it out. What time is it? Let me get ready to wrap it up. Yes. Jeremiah 422. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. Okay. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. Said my people is foolish. They have not known me. Our people don't know God. Mm, mm, they don't mm. know what it means. You ask any one of these folks say, I know God. You don't know my God. What well, God do you know? Name. Hold this up. This is who they know right here. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't about the name <laughs> though, bro. This is who they know right here. They know this. This ain't God. This ain't no damn God. That's the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Right. They don't know my God. My God gonna kill your, uh, your ass. You hear me? For real though. No, my God don't play. Read that again. Terrible. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They foolish because you a black man waiting on a white man to save you. That's foolish as hell for a black man to be waiting on a Esau. image, uh, waiting on Esau to come back and save him. Read. Esau. They are Saudi's children. You said they are Saudi's children. Read. And they have none understanding. God said they don't, you don't got no understanding of the Bible. We know you don't got no understanding of the Bible. We out here reading the Bible right now. Right. You don't got no understanding of the Bible. If you had understanding of the Bible, you would be trying to teach the people. If they had understanding of the Bible. Read They are wise to do evil. They're wise to do evil. They're wise to make a church twerk video. They're wise to make a rap song rapping about two now women like uh, whores, uh, selling dope to our people, gang banging and killing your brother. Right. they wise to do evil, Read. But to do good, they have no knowledge. But to do good, they have no knowledge. To dress modesty, our women don't got no knowledge of that. To be a man, our men don't got no knowledge of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? To sit up there and uh, set a nation in order, our men don't got no knowledge of that. Man, God is giving us the instructions on how to set a nation in order and how to obtain a kingdom. Don't you know, this is what this, what this Bible, this is what our people don't understand. When, when, you, when they quit thinking it's the white man book and understand this is the black man's weapon and that God have gave you the instructions to rule the earth, we can get the hell up out of here. Right. You know when something's going on, you got a wash machine. You bought the wash machine, it came with instructions. The wash machine ain't working right. Guess what, you open the instruction up, you read what's wrong with the, uh, what's wrong with the wash machine and you apply those instructions and guess what happened? You end up into the wash machine. The same with you. You guys chose the people. God said, you know what? I need to give my chosen people the instructions. Because give me Proverbs 72 real. I mean, uh, uh, Sirach 19 and 18 real quick. He said, look, I got to give my chosen people the instructions. You want to know why? So when you when you sit up there, when you broken down, guess what? If you broken down, you a fornicator. You can't stop committing fornication. You can't stop defiling your temple. You can go right back to these instructions and fix yourself. That's right. Read what you got. So what? Chapter 19 and verse 18. Read. The fear of the Lord is the first step. You hear that? Say the fear of the Lord is the first step. Read. To be accepted of him. Read. And wisdom obtained of his love. Read. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. Said the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. Read. Is the doctrine of life. This life. This shows you how to live your life, bro. Never last. When you feeling sad and down, guess what? He got instructions on how to make you feel, uh, how to, how to, how to have you cheer you up. When you, uh, when you, when you, when you, uh, sitting up, if you want a wife, he teach you how to get a wife and how to love that wife. You know what I'm saying? When you stress out, the most I teach you, you got all the instructions in here right there, right here. If you want to rule the kingdom, he give you the laws to apply to rule the kingdom. These your instructions. God waiting on us. Give me uh, Matthew 25, verse 34. God waiting on us to get right. But if we don't want to get right, guess what? You're going to die. Next time y'all go to Israel, take me. But you got to be repentant, bro. Lord's will, next time we go to Israel, we're going to have the kingdom and we're going to be in the slaves of white people. Bro. That's, That's right, bro. Right. Yeah, no. I'm trying I'm to tell you now. Plant a tree, man. Matthew 25, verse 34. Matthew, but the first thing you got to do, bro, you got to be sober-minded. 
I know, it ain't nothing wrong. It ain't nothing wrong with drinking, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong. I get, we have drinks all the time. Right. Christ had drinks. You better know. It ain't nothing wrong with drinking, bro. But remember, you in the word. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why you learn. Make sure you have that sober mind. Couple words to learn next time. Bro, all praises I'm, you came out though. Bro, I'm learning, bro. I'm all learning. Praise. I know you learning. I hear you I over there. Learning, I hear you bro. over there. But I'm gonna tell you something before we go, bro. Because yeah, you keep saying the name, the name. Read what you got. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 34. Read. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. The kingdom has been prepared for us from the foundation of the world. Right. Come and heard it. Here go the instructions. This is how to get it right here. Right. Follow these instructions and we'll get it. Now you keep saying about the 9999. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. They need to know where they pray. No, you can pray to Jesus, bro. That's the name. His name is Jesus. We want to call him Yahshua. Yeah, uh, Jesus ain't nothing but a translation of uh, Yahushua. Yeah, it ain't nothing but a translation. So if you want to call it Yahushua, call him Yahushua. If you want to call the Most High God Yahweh, call him Yahweh. But if we say Jesus, don't sit up here and say, no, you call this. That ain't Jesus. Hold this up real know, quick. That, that nine to gain so much energy. I'm going to show you why. Out. Look, hold on. Read. Who is that? What, that, energy, what that say on there, though? What that say? Who is that? What's that? The image of the beast. Who is that, though? It's the uh, uh -huh. This says Sandra Bunger. This Sandra Bunger. So if we, if we know that this Sandra Bunger, how in the hell can it be Jesus? Ain't no way. Okay, now look and listen to this, read. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Read. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Read, slow that down. He said, for he that what? For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Another Jesus. Another Jesus. This let you know, hey, they're going to preach another Jesus. Yeah. They're going to preach more than one Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't preach this. This the other Jesus that they're That's talking about. He let thing. you know in the world. Look, read that again. Hold on, read that. Read that again. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. He let you know somebody else going to preach another Jesus on top. That means that they're going to be pre preaching different Jesuses. Right. Read. Who we have not preached. We didn't preach this. He don't got white wool in her. He don't got skin that's breathed in the furnace and red eyes. That's right. He, he, he didn't do away with the law. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? He, this dude did away with the law. Yeah. He accept homosexuality. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's a child molester. Right. He's a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? Read up. Whom we have not preached. We didn't preach that, read. Or if ye receive another spirit. You hear that? We, that our people received another spirit. It's called Christianity. We don't got the spirit of Christianity on us. We warriors up here. Right. Right. Which ye have not received. Read. Or another gospel. God, read. The, we, the, we, didn't, the, we didn't preach this gospel. Right. This is another Jesus, right. read. Which ye have not accepted. Read. Ye might well bear with him. You, say you might well bear with those people if you receive that spirit and receive that out of Jesus. We didn't receive this. Right. This another Jesus. This is not Jesus the Christ. Give me my, my Matthew 24 and 24 real quick. Bring it out. I'll show you something. Matthew 24 and 24. The only people that got deceived about this is the people that's going. A lot of people that got deceived about this, they're going to die. Man. Especially the ones we sit up there and show them the truth. If we show you the truth as Christ look like been knowing it for if, all yeah. their life. If we show you the truth yeah. that Christ look like this, yeah, and our people still believe in that, their fool. ass gotta go. That's right. Read. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. This it is. For there shall arise false Christ. It's gonna arise false Christ. And there it is. It's gonna arise a false Jesus Christ. Like what's your name? LJ on. LJ. Yeah. So you got it could be a false LJ walking around right now. Yeah, man, I'm LJ, man. I'm nigga that's around here, part the street. Right. But he ain't you, right? No, that nigga faking like he but you. He can't so guess what? Guess what he did? He faking. He faking like he Jesus Christ. That's right. That name don't got to. We ain't get that name too much energy. That name be had the energy. Right, it ain't even it about the name. It's the word. The yeah. word got the energy. That's right. You feel? That's how you identify. That's why we say. If you stick with the word of God, you don't have to worry about name, that. Though. Huh? It's power in saying it's real name. No, I'm going to show you and, something. Listen to this. I'm going to show you what the power is. You better be holy enough to see it. No, I'm going to show you. Now, it's, it's always power when you're keeping God's commandments. Right. Now, look, listen to this. Read. Right. And false prophets 
and shall show great signs and wonders. So it's, it rise, it rise false Christ, false prophets, or false teachers that show great signs and wonders, read. And so much, it's like, and so much, read, that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. That they might deceive the very elect. We the elect, we ain't deceived. This ain't get us, we know it. We know this ain't no, uh, this, we know that ain't Jesus. That's Seth from Boom If somebody call this image Jesus, they double mind. Yes. That's just like me. That's just like they don't me. Know shit. I'm gonna repent it is what like. I know Jesus is black. If I have to sit up here and look at this image and say, hey, look at Jesus. Guess what? I'm still deceived by this image. You hear him? My conscience served. I know this says you're going to try. This is the damn devil. That's right. This is not Jesus. And you are correct. It is power in the name of the most high. Mm -hmm. It's power when you say Jesus. Yeah. It's power when you say you're sure. Uh, yeah. It's power when you say you're Howard Shot or a higher or any of the different names that you want to call him. It's power in that. But remember one thing he told us. Give us Revelation 3 and 12 real quick. Bring it out. The book of Revelations, chapter 3 and verse 12. Three. Him that overcometh. Will I make a pillar in the temple this, of oh, my... He said, him that overcome it. Overcome what? Shell. Overcome. Give me second edge of chapter 7. You said what? The shell on earth. The shell? Nah, the shell. Hey, you this hell. Hey, you right. Hell. This, yeah, this hell. hell. This hell. I'm going to show you. Let me get it real. Second edge of chapter 7, right there, verse 56. I'm going to show you. Hey, you, you're right. This hell. Hell is a condition. Slave. But I'm going to show you what we got to overcome in this hell. I, I give you that one. Second Ezra 7 verse 56. Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 56. Read. For while we live and committed iniquity. So I, while we live and commit sins, read. We consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. After death is the judgment. After death, you receive the judgment, you come back to the earth. You're gonna the, suffer ju for it. the judgment play out on earth. Yeah, you suffer, you're read. Suffer for it. Then answer he me and said. This is the condition he of said, the battle. This is the condition of the battle, Reed. Which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. So what's the condition of the battle that a man must fight? Overcome his sins. Right. Read on. That if he be overcome. If you overcome by your sin, Reed. He shall suffer as thou hast said. Your ass gonna die. Read. But if he get the victory. But if he get the victory. He shall receive the thing that I say. That's their, par that, that, uh, their paradise, their everlasting life, the kingdom of heaven. So go right back to what we was at. So what you got to overcome? Sins. Your sins. Read on. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 13, 12. Read. Him that overcometh. Him that overcometh, read. Will I make a pillar in the temple. Over so you got to overcome your sins to be made a leader. To be made a, a pillar. That strong tower in what? Of my God. Read. And he shall go no more out. You ain't going to go no more to hell. You ain't going to come no more into captivity. Because this hell, this captivity, read. And I will write upon him the name of my God. Hold on, he said, so have you overcome your sins yet? Not for you. Oh, uh, okay. Not so until you overcome your sins, he said, I'm going to write on you what? Upon him the name of my God. Said, I'm going to write on you the name of my God and what? And the name of the city of my God. Read. Which is New Jerusalem. Read. Which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. You hear that? What it said about Jesus, he's going to have what? He's going to write upon me his new name. Your new name. When we, when we going to get that? We're going to get that when we repent. When we overcome our sins, bro. Got to overcome our sins. Because guess what? He ain't repenting. A lot of our people ain't repenting right now. He ain't repenting. You know, you don't got your bread, your, 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 your body. Uh, yeah, but you, uh, okay, if you can't grow, you can't grow, but you don't got your fringes on. Right. You're probably still breaking the see, commandments, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just learning. Yeah, you still learning. I, I, so I, so see, check this, check this out. I want to say, though. I know the power he get, yeah. I, and I know, you know what I'm saying, because I've probably been seeing what the average ain't seen, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and I know this for sure, yeah. and I just know it's a direct connection with God himself, because the power is true, and they can't take it from you. Yeah. All you got to do is open your heart and mind. Even though I done did a lot of dirt, yeah. I always kept a good heart and did it for a reason. Well, you know, I felt you. like I was paying back devils. Him. Well, he, you yeah. can't you can't think like that, bro. I'm I, same way, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. All of us, one thing about Israel, we all alike, bro. All of us say, look, we ain't seen stuff and did stuff that. Look, bro, I did. So I've been out here right. deep in the streets, bro. And you'll never think because I'm in the Bible. Right. You'll never think. But if you to go back into my history, check my background, and be around niggas, you'll be like, this nigga crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So look, but the point is, we ain't worried about that. Right. We're trying to reason. bring that new you man forth. You try, look, 
cast that old man. Look, give me uh, Philippians 3 and 13. I'm going to do the same thing for God. Though. Yeah, that's get, what I'm saying. I'm that's what I was just going to say. That's what I was just going to say, bro. When we take that kingdom I'm back. I'm sitting back and waiting yeah. to God ordain me to yeah. take the kingdom now. All this shit I did in the streets ain't nothing compared to now. But, hey, that's why the most high way. Why you think he called them warriors? Right. But we gotta repeat. Oh, we gotta, we gotta put keep work the commandments, in. though. We gotta yeah. put that work in to take the kingdom back. Yeah. It ain't gonna be no yeah. nice thing, man. We gonna die, man. Yeah. A lot of us gonna die. Nah, Philippians three and thirteen. Yeah. Listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah. Yeah. Philippians yeah. chapter three and verse thirteen. Check this out, bro. That's the thing. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, Read. but this one thing I do, Read. forgetting those things which are behind. Read that, man. Let's forget that stuff that's behind us, bro. Read. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. Read. I press toward the mark for the price of the high for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You see that? Let's push for the things that's before us now, bro. Just like you said, you know what the Most High day He's raising us up. God building us up. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, all you see is soldiers out there right, right now. That's, that's right. That's it. You see yeah. that? But we fishing right now. Right. Give me uh Jeremiah 5 real quick. Bring it out. Is it Jeremiah 5 and 16? 16. I think 16. 16. Yeah, Jeremiah 16 and 16. It's great Babylon. Man. Yeah, Babylon the Great, bro. We gotta get up out of here. But look, I'm gonna tell you something. You wanna say you sure, bro? Or what what night do you say? I, I say Yahweh. Yahweh? Yeah. Yahweh, okay. Yahweh that's, okay. The that's you know, that's the one of the names of the most high. The, 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 yeah. The ancient. The, uh, oh, I know what you're talking about, bro. Yahweh. No translation yeah. with the well, I'm going to tell you, that, that right there ain't the ancient whole. That ain't the ancient Hebrew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a Hebrew language that a man came up with. Okay. And it's called the Lasha One Kadash. You know what Lasha One Kadash means? No, I don't. It means the holy tongue, bro. Okay. Trust me, bro. Hey, listen to me, bro. I, I, I went down the road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to be the same way. I used to be the same way, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to be telling everybody, oh, you got to say this name. You got to say that name, yeah, bro. he says. What does Yeshua mean? Yeshua? Yeah. I say Yeshua is his name. Yeah, it's, Actually, it's a Hebrew name. What does it mean? He saves. He saves. That's it. What does your hour shot mean? You know what I'm saying? He saves. All of it means the same. You see right, what I'm getting right, at? Right, right. It means the same thing, bro. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this, bro. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21. Read. Now everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Said not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Right. Not everybody that say your hour mm -hmm. or your sure right. going to enter to the kingdom of heaven. Read. Right. But he that doeth the will of my father. Say, but he that doeth the will of my father. Mm -hmm. You got to keep his commandments, read. Which is in heaven. Read. Many will say to me in that day. So he said in that day, talking about the day of the Lord once again, read. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? Have we not prophesied, read. In thy name. Have we not prophesied in your name, using your name, read. Okay. And in thy name have cast out devils. In your name I cast out devils in your name, read. And in thy name done many wonderful works. I did Many wonderful works saying Yeshua. I did many wonderful works saying Yahweh, read. And then will I profess unto them. He said, then I'm going to profess to them, read. I never knew you. I never knew you. Mm. It ain't just the name, bro. Let me show you something. You want to get into the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 19, verse 16. Bring it up, bro. Bring it up. Matthew 19 and 16. Remember he said when you overcome, you're going to get a new name. Yeah, we don't got that new name yet. I want the new name. I don't want the name that everybody, all these names that they corrupted and the language corrupted. Hell, we can barely speak English. Yeah, we talking about we know how to speak Hebrew good. That's a damn lie. I can barely speak it. I struggle, I'm still struggling with words. Yeah, I, I was you. struggling up here the whole time. Yeah, I ain't really like that. I ain't say that on Hey, I know, man. I'm not your language Hebrew. You feel me? Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Read. And behold, one came and said to him, Good master. Look, good master, read. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Man, what I need to do to get the kingdom of heaven, read. What and he read? said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Read. There is none good but one, that is God. He says only one good, that's God, read. But if thou would enter into life, if you want to get the kingdom of heaven, read. Keep the commandments. Say, say the correct name. Keep the commandments. Well, that's it, bro. I always remember that. But you want to take the Yahweh, Shah, a higher, uh, I got more out of saying Yeah, yeah. I mean, say, hey, say that too, bro.
home. There's, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.